be a hot six in the IX. IX in Roman numerals is nine. That's true. Just saying. That's an upside down backward six. Yeah. <laughs> in the bottom left, we have a very new player, but also a very skilled player. Putty Putty. And in the upper right, we have the Renaissance nerd. His ID is... Ujis Nada. Now, I do wonder from parting what his build is going to be. Yeah, I'm really curious. You know. He's uh, already shown some very interesting builds. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder if he might try something like a double expand again. Uh, you know, that build he just showed... It's interesting, his first build, uh, because, you know, most of the time Nada isn't like an all-inner. He's someone who's going to expand pretty quickly a lot of the time. And his first build was something that would not do well against the powering Marine expand. His second build is something that would have free one against it. So he's pretty unpredictable. He's jumping all over the place. He did like the most economical, semi-risky uh, PVT opener. Uh, well, it's reasonably risky. Uh, <laughs> pretty risky. Uh, and then in the next game, he did, like, an insane all-in. Like, an insane, crazy all-in. We never even see that build. That is a build, like, from the beta, refined with better micro. Yeah. So, I mean, he's pretty unpredictable here, for sure. How does that build um, hold up against Terrans that just stay on, on one base? Ooh, that's a really good question. Now, it matters what they're doing on one base. If they're doing, like, a marine tank, you're going to kill it. If they're going Stargate, I I feel like you're not going to. Starport, yeah. Yeah, Starport. Um, and you know, Banshees are just going to always be a problem for that build. Now, now what if they're doing 1-1-1 um, like one, one, one or something? You know, uh, a lot of times that uh, is going to come down to who has the better micro in the unit composition. If the Terran has a pre... Whoever basically scouts the other one and figures out the build first and then adapts his units is the one that'll win there. Because uh, ranged Colossus off one base, if you do it correctly, is going you, to eat a 1-1-1. You do not um, get observers with that build? Uh, well, his build, he didn't because that he needed every piece of gas because he wanted Thermal Lance so quickly. Yeah. And he had to get that Stalker to make sure he couldn't get scouted. So he didn't get an observer with that. Uh, but, I mean, if you go like Gate RoboGate, of course, you will have that observer. Yeah. Out. But, of course, that will slow down. Thermal lands if you need it. Boss is so gas intensive to get off the ground. Just oh yeah, very difficult. Let's well, it's a problem base. for some of those old PVP builds uh, mm -hmm. where people would just stay on one base and get Colossus and then they get the zealots because like the Phoenix Phoenix just kill them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You can't you can't actually afford to um, get stalkers if you're getting Colossus. Yeah, Rota boosting them out. It's almost impossible. Absolutely. All right, so Harding is actually going one gate expand into three gate robo. It looks like if he makes that robo, uh, not is in trouble because not is going for a cloak banshee rush, which in both the previous games would have been a free win. <laughs> but in this game, it is not the right build at all because Parting most likely in just a second here will be throwing up a robo, and that means that not yep. build has been pretty hard countered. And there it goes. The robo goes down. And so Harding has gotten the better side of the build orders this game. It's this is it's so cool to watch uh, these two players. They're trying to vary their strategy a lot to trick each other, but it just keeps on going back and forth to who gets the high end of the build order. You know? Yeah, they're using some very um, uncommon openers. Yeah, they're just they're they're rotating around quite a bit. So Cloak and Banshee on the way. The Robo going to be done in plenty of time. Now, the one thing that might catch uh, Parting off guard is if he makes one Observer and sends it cross map and the Banshee doesn't cross paths with it, and he hasn't started another Observer, then of course he will lose a lot of probes. We'll have to see how that goes. Is Oh my god. What? Just out of vision. Banshee just out of vision of that Watchtower that, uh, that Parting has. So that's really good for, uh, for Nada. But it looks like the Banshee's going to hit before the Observer's out, which is perfect for Parting. Parting will just send the Observer up, get a second Observer, and defend this. And here we go. Cloak about to finish. And now not a Cloak go back in, but the Observer will come up just at that time. And down goes the Banshee. Oh, man. Goodbye. 
Oh, I've been not as pissed about that. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, if, if for instance, Perning had done the build he had done on Daybreak, where he goes for the quick three Nexus, this build we've already seen on this map, in fact, by Inca himself, uh, then that, the Banshee is basically a free win. So, we do have Parting throwing up some more observers, getting another gate, all very smart things. And ah, okay. We have a Thor on the way, Marines and Banshees. So we're gonna see the Thor Marine Banshee attack off of two base. And that build is really strong. <laughs> it's really strong. And uh, we did see it get screwed up against MC. Who was doing it, Supernova? Yeah, it was Supernova on yeah. Daybreak. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Group B last week on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, that's you know, right. That was Group B, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Supernova messed up with it. That's not what it normally looks like when the, the builds fight each other. When Protoss fights that build, it doesn't normally look quite like that. Okay, the Observer scouts the armory. He knows exactly what's going on. This build has some popularity on the Korean server. I, the Double Forge, I do not... Oh, no, it's a Forge and a Twilight. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. So, parting in great shape. We'll see if he knows how to deal with this just right. Or if Nana even chooses to go with this as an all-in. He might just be using this as a temporary set of units for defense. Just to have a funny little unit composition. <coughs> Alright, here comes the uh, Banshee now. There is an Observer and Stalker, so it will be stopped. Dead in his tracks. I don't know if it's a dead in his tracks. His tracks keep on going. It doesn't have any tracks, it flies. And the propellers, they blow sand over its tracks, so the tracks are covered up. <laughs> well, we're still waiting to see if Nod is going to push out. He might do it after the storm. You have Immortals, Blink, and plus one weapons on the way. A Templar Archives as well. I love the Templar Archives. You know why I love it? Kill me. Because you can feed back Thors and Banshees, and then you turn them into Archons, and it's like, well, I just did a lot of damage to you. What's up? That is sick. All right. Psy Storm's pretty good, too, <laughs> for end up going that. All right. We do have uh, Parting actually coming up. Not sure how much I like this. Okay, yeah, he turns around. I'm like, huh. That would be funny to attack into Nada. And another factory goes down. So, yeah, Nada's going for this unit composition. More gates on the way for his opponent. Psy Storm on the way, quite quickly. Of course, Psy Storm, if you... Uh, here's, here's a... Uh, one part of this build. Thors are hard to deal with, Banshees are hard to deal with, but one of the trickiest parts of it is the Marines uh, just buffer a lot of damage. So you either, you do need some sort of splash damage unless you catch them out in the open, like before they're ready with the right unit composition. So he's going for Size Storm for that instead of Colossus, which is actually a pretty good choice. I like it. Because there's not going to be ghosts with this. No way. No oh, way, no, no how. And let's say that you don't have enough for Storm on one of your High Templars, or you have a Storm plus some, then those feedbacks become very strong on Thors. And we do have a Raven on the way. That's to for point defense drone to help out the Banshees. That's And, of course, point defense drone can be fed back. And also uh, to help pick out the Observer so that the Cloak can just kill stuff. All right, here, oh we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Size Storm about to finish, and he actually just used feedback. All right. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I, I don't really know why he ran up and did feedbacks on a couple Banshees. I mean, if I guess if you got the ones that were in the back. Nope, he wouldn't have killed them anyways. Huh. You know, I really feel Good. like those feedbacks are so much better on the Thor's mid-battle. Because it's like this yeah, extra well, couple hundred damage. Well, they can just repair, you know. Yeah. Like not, no, I know. Those Banshees are just going to be repaired now. I mean, the energy, I guess, will be back, but... Yeah, it, it's, you know, like, it's a questionable choice. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. The main. Ooh. Handsome play. It's a good thing to do right now. He knows all the units are at the natural. And now he can just get out of there. It's funny he actually cloaked when he went over there. It's like, well, obviously as an observer, how did he see up your ramp? Yeah. I like that play by party. Really well done. And this is a long map. He's going to have a lot of time to get his charge done, get his plus two weapons, get more high Templars. Not as in trouble. I do foresee not a... Having a hard time with this, man. Yeah, I don't know if Nada could win this one, actually. If Parting just keeps on maneuvering his units so smartly and so well. I mean, what do you do? This is like PvP. Is Nada going to move out and let the Stalkers blink in and then trade a little bit? 
He'll do enough damage that if not his attack doesn't work, he's dead, and then run back with the Sockers to well, help. Well, I mean, what you're really supposed to do if they're doing this is because <coughs> of how big not his army is, you split up the armies. You let him deal some damage to your main, you come up so he can't escape from behind, then you just send your army in towards this. Oh, yeah. Oh, snipes that observer. Well that was done. smart. Yep. Yeah, because those Thors have such range. Yeah, the anti air of the Thor is insane. 10 range, some of the biggest range in the game of anything. It's kind of funny, you know, when you don't have a siege tank, because Pro Stalkers can actually do this. Yeah. Now, not a supply is more than uh, his opponent, but. Yeah, it's. The thing is, his, his unit selection, it's very strong, very tricky to deal with, but Harding's pretty ready. He's got four immortals right now. He's got a few sentries in there for Guardian Shield to help tank all that range damage. And he's got High Templars with Psy Storm. In fact, he's got five High Templars. Ooh, Strike Cannons being upgraded. Very smart move by Nada. That will allow him to take out those immortals very quickly, and it'll get rid of a lot of energy on the Thors, both of which are very important for the upcoming battle. Okay, now we have a party moving out. I have a hard time just saying this guy's ID. I don't, I don't know why. Um, moving out here. Actually, they're both moving out. We might have an engagement here in the middle of the map. I think Nada will try to delay it a little bit. By the way, he is upgrading uh, vehicle plating. He wants that additional armor on Thors. They're the big mainstay of this. He wants them to tank as much damage as possible, especially once those Marines are all dead. He accepts that the Marines will die. Hope the Marines have accepted that. <laughs> Marines don't get much to say, unfortunately. All right, moving up in here now. The Marines are sitting there right now. They're like, so, uh, uh yo, Nada, uh, hey, man, <laughs> when, when, when are the medevacs getting here? <laughs> Sorry, Marines. You're on your own. Uh oh, if he gets them as he's oh, going through that. Yeah, he's got to be careful. That's not a good uh, placement of Harding's units right now. Got to be careful. Oh, look at that. He actually used Strike Cannon right there, right then, so that feedback couldn't be used on him so well. And he's going for it. Big Psy Storms and a ton of feedbacks. Does he have enough now? The Immortals are stuck in the back. This is actually craziness. Nada still with a lot more supply. Nada right. so smart. Seeing those ghosts and using uh, the Strike Cannons, but the Strike Cannons could be ones. useful right now against these Immortals. And it looks like Parting, I think... Oh, is he going to have enough of these four Immortals? I he think he such will. Yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think he has enough. It's just, he, they, before the Immortals weren't doing enough damage. Oh, what? Thors uh, are pretty good. And... Oh, man. That one Thor has so few hit points. Uh, but, yeah. You know, I feel like if he had... Oh. He somehow... Oh, yeah. He that was really hitting nice. that expansion that entire yeah, time. Yeah, he has. That's... Yeah, he's killed off 16 SCVs. It's pretty good. He's chrono boosting everything. He does have plus three attack now. And, you know, here's the thing. When those get uh, re-repaired, the next army of parting is not going to be as good. He's not going to have Psy Storms as much. Right, right. He's not going to have as many Immortals. He's making some Archons showing how scared he is, not saving up uh, for any feedbacks or any... Uh, you know, anything else. He just needs units right now. So it looks like Nada actually he might win this right here. All right, we're going to see the Archons now coming up here hitting the oh, doors. DTs. And yeah, the DTs in here. DTs do deal a lot of damage per second. And well, in this little area, those two Immortals being worth you their weight wonder, in gold. Could he have just used a strike cannon uh, yeah, that's, to destroy the oh, rocks? You're right. I mean, yeah, oh my either God. that or use Strike Cannon on... Well, it looks like Nada's dead now. Wow, that really went the other way very quickly. But yeah, GG. Nada, a little bit misuse on his Strike Cannons there. Uh, attacking up in that little choke. I mean, he had to keep attack. He was in trouble. Interesting game and parting. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good dancing. Good dancing there. I'm going to go to the club later with parting, man. Yeah, man. We get all the comments. What is... What's the name for that dance? I don't know what that it's is. It's like the robot dance or something. Is it the robot that? dance? Uh, I'm a huge nerd, man. I have no idea about dancing. Tasteless can dance. Oh, yeah? Actually, Actually little no, known fact, Tasteless is cat group. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm cat group on YouTube. That's me. That's when I wear yeah. a different face. YouTube cat groove. That's him. You can't tell. The camera's so far away. I'm amazing. You're amazing. You're the best at everything. I'm good at everything. Yeah.
Uh, who do we have next? We have Keen and Puzzle. Keen and Puzzle. And then uh, the winner of that will go on to face Nada. So will Keen meet his demise at Puzzle or will he meet his demise at Nada? We will see. We're going to find out uh, pretty soon here. I love, by the way, the way Parting plays. I think this guy could get past round of 16. You think so? I do. I actually do think so. Maybe. His, his maybe. builds are so, much, are, are so uh, different <laughs> compared to the other Protosses we see. He has some cool play, and I liked his his answer to the the Hellion. I mean, not the Hellion. The, the, the Thor, Thor Marine, Banshee, Banshee Marine. Yeah, I like that. I like the Psy Storms because those Marines, are, those well, those he, cause he hell, engaged man. really well. And then he ran back. He made sure to have Zealots go in and hit the uh, second base. The feedbacks were the great. Feed the Psy Storms. Um, they, I think if if uh, not had used the Strike Cannon to destroy the rocks, he would have had better surface area because. Uh, in the other battles, because there were three battles, one where you know he, yeah, took he was up fighting two Thors at a time, and the, for SCV, a lot of it. But the SCVs can't repair; yeah, they weren't able to repair. It. It's actually the SCVs. That's true. Yeah, that's I didn't what, even what think makes that. that build work. So yeah, well, the strike cannons there, or even I mean, he had enough energy to use them uh, when he engaged on the Immortals, which ended up being the heroes of that battle. Two Immortals at the top of the ramp, just holding everything. Yeah, uh, and puzzle. I mean, not puzzle. Parting was scared there too. After this five-minute break, we're going to be back with Keen against Puzzle. Stay tuned.